a video about capacitors that are used on brushless speed controls and uh, what they're for and uh, whether you need to put a bigger one on or um, whether you need them at all. Well, uh, brushless DC speed controls uh, I use a switching technique which pulses the motor with current and this causes a lot of variation in the voltage that you're drawing from a battery and uh, speed controls without getting into all the electronics um, can overheat badly if you allow the voltages when they switch on and off the spikes to go up and down and cause a lot of stress on the internal circuitry and uh, this is made worse if you have um, a battery that is um, a long way away and got long wires or is quite low quality now the manufacturers fit a capacitor sometimes only a small one close and sometimes actually in the speed controls now which helps reduce the spikes as these pulse on and off the high frequency pulse uh, spikes of voltage are just absorbed by the capacitor they go in and out of the capacitor and the, these capacitors are therefore essential if you don't put them on these spikes, as I said, can cause a uh, breakdown of the speed control and ca can cause them to not perform efficiently and can cause them to overheat. Now some speed controls are made better than others and um, this one only needs a very small capacitor. Now these capacitors, you can buy them and they all look very similar. Uh, they're very, very low internal resistance so they can really uh, you can pull the current out and you can push it back in very very quickly and they don't overheat and they're good at high frequencies as well some capacitors that you buy that are quite cheap won't do that and won't be any good at all for speed controls they might be alright for other purposes now is it worth putting a bigger one on well some people say oh the bigger the capacitor the, the more power you'll get better brakes and uh, they seem to think that it acts like a, a better battery well if you've got a very good battery such as uh, this one like a 90C rating these provide all the power that you're ever going to get no capacitor can give you more power than this battery unless it is miles away from the speed control and uses thin wire normally you would use a very thick gauge wire that has no resistance and carry the current and you keep it as short as possible if you have a thin wire and it's a long way away this wire will actually have a resistance and will actually reduce the capability of the battery to provide power so always use the thickest cable you can to the battery okay you don't have to go mad because um, if you're only running a a, a low a high term motor the current would be less but um, I always use say 12 gauge on a 2S battery to the to the battery uh, to the motor again use short wire as short as possible and uh, that reduces any losses in the wire now back to the capacitor these wires still have a little bit of inductance without confusing you they it, as this um, pulses the motor the current has to flow back in this wire and uh, if it's got any resistance um, the speed control will either the voltage spikes will get bit bigger and uh, can damage the speedo so a capacitor just deals with that normally a small one is good enough what's the advantage of putting a bigger one on? here's a much bigger one in fact this has just got four of these in there in a row well it gives you a bigger capacitance but does it give you any more power well no because the amount of power contained in that capacitor compared to what's in this battery is so insignificant you can use them uh, but in my opinion it made no difference whatsoever um, there's also this hyper booster one it's recommended for 1s well if if you're using a 1s car you need to use it and you want more power 
you should get the best battery you can because nothing can give you more power than the battery. So it, then the higher the C rating the better. If you had a, a battery with a very low C rating, say about 10 or 3 or something, um, it, it wouldn't be able to develop any power if you're using a very high power motor. But you wouldn't, the voltage would just drop every time you accelerated. But you wouldn't be using a battery like that in a high power car. And if it was in a low power car, you wouldn't be worried about that sort of thing. Um, some people say a bigger capacitor reduces interference. Well, interference can be caused by a speed control if you don't have a capacitor at all. Because as I said, you can get voltage spikes as it switches on and off, which can affect the receiver. It can also, if you've got a low power battery, can cause the voltage to go up and down, which gets into the receiver and can cause all sorts of uh, glitches. So that's another reason for having a capacitor on, on, the, on the speedo. If you do get glitching in your car, I recommend a capacitor actually on the receiver, but that's, that's another thing altogether. Now, um, lot, you can get lots of different makes of these sort of capacitors if you want to put a bigger one on, because someone's told you it gives you better brakes. Um, you buy one with the lowest internal resistance. Because if you want to suck power out of this, it's, if it's got any resistance at all, it won't come out. It just, would just be slow coming out and slow going in. Now these are generally made for low ESR, which is the um, equivalent series resistance. just means that the lower the resistance, the easier the current flows in and out. And what's the difference between these different... Ones these days they're just capacitors on the board. Sometimes they have some high frequency capacitors soldered on as well. Sometimes they even have some um, diodes for quenching voltage, but uh, they don't tend to use them anymore. You can also get um, a bigger, big fat one. These used to be common in the some years ago, but now they seem to be replaced by these on the on the board. Now these do vary. As I said, get the lowest resistance possible. Looking at them, there's one there and there's, a, there's one here. They look identical. They're both 330 microfarads, 16 volts. Uh, if you're using a 2S battery, you don't want less than 16 volts because the voltage spikes can be 16 volts at least, maybe even higher. And if you use like a 10 volt one, it, it, could, it could punch through and damage it. Another thing about capacitors, uh, you probably know, most people know that if they're plus, plus and minus, uh, this mark, blue mark on this one, that rebel mark on there is a bit confusing. That's the negative lead. If you connect them up, it's positive and negative on the battery on there. Um, the wrong way round, they will fail. And if you've ever plugged your speedo in back to, for, back to front by mistake, You'll probably find the capacitor exploded or went up in smoke. You cannot connect these the wrong way around. If you ever do and it doesn't blow up, it'd probably be best to replace it because it's almost surely be damaged. Um, anyway, the ESR, I mean, I've got ESR meters here and which you can check capacitors with. And this, this capacitor here came with the Tekin. It's very small and it doesn't look like it's going to do anything at all. But measuring it on, on the here, it's 0 0.02 ohms. That's a very, very low reading uh, for ESR. Very good indeed. The lower the better. I mean, zero would be uh, a perfect. But that's incredible uh, low. Now if you, so it's a really good quality capacitor and will do its job. Now this other one here, this one, it looks exactly the same. It's a 330, it's the same size. But if I connect on there, it's um it's 0.04. It's got twice the internal resistance, so it's not not as good. You might think the wires will have an effect, and they will. If you leave those long wires on there, 
you have to solder it to the positive and negative. It's not good to have the long wires on the capacitor because the current now has got to flow backwards and forwards into these th through these thin wires, and they're doing exactly the bad job of if you had long wires to your battery, it's just inhibiting. The, so if possible, if you're going to fit a capacitor, cut the wires shorter and just tuck it in anywhere. On the tech, and again, the way they recommend it is you wire this capacitor directly to the terminals like that, as short as possible. And that is the best way. Long wires are not much good. Now, um, these four bank ones, what are they like? Well, here is a, an Orca one, and you're just going to find that it's be four times the capacitance. The others were 330 microfarads, which is just a way of, de of measuring the actual capacity inside. Now, these are 470 each, so that's um, nearly 2,000. Let's turn it on and uh, 1774.06 so it's not even as good as the the 0.02s normally if you put a load of 0.02s side by side they should still be 02 they don't add up or subtract the ESRs if they're if they're connected side by side or in parallel now let's check this KO one this KO one cost a fraction more than the Orca one and um, it's called in the the advantage capacitor 0.03 1555 so the capacitance is much better in the KO than the Orca one on my meter. It's 0 0.03. I mean, 0 0.02 was the best one we've seen so far. So I would say that capacitor is better than the Orca one. Now this has got thin wires as well. Cut them as short as possible when you solder them onto the plus and minus. Always solder them to the capacitor as close to the com speedo as possible to reduce the length of the wires don't solder them onto the wires right on the say over here on the battery or or somewhere else on the connecting wires in the middle because it it will just reduce its effectiveness they should always be connected directly onto the plus and minus as close as possible and i said a lot of speedos now come in capacitors already soldered in inside the case on some of them where they work the best what about this old um, super power capacitor? Let's just check it. See if it's any good. Normally the bigger the better with capacitors. Point oh eight. Three thousand two hundred and eighty. So it's got um, a good capacitance but the 0.08 it's quite an old uh, designer capacitor now these modern capacitors were developed for um, uh, high performance computer boards and things and they are very low resistance so this one is not so good anymore and finally what about this hyper booster it says um, gives speed control more punch power and reduces temperature of battery well, it might reduce the temperature of the battery if it was a low-quality battery. Um, but if you're going to run a 1S, this is this says for 1 to 2S. Besides, it's 250,000 microfarads. Now, would this give you more power, more punch, more anything? Well, again, the, the power contained in there is no, not magic. It no, can be no more power than a part of this battery. If you want more power, either get a bigger capacity battery or a more powerful battery. Anyway, this will reduce noise, but will it do anything else? Uh, this ESR meter won't measure this. Uh, it doesn't go up that high. 
But this one is a much more uh, serious piece of ESR equipment. And I've got it on there at the moment. It's saying the capacitance is greater than 2 um, uh, millifarads, which is greater than 250,000. And the ESR, this is in milliohms, is 3.2, which is the same as 0 0.03. So it is a really low uh, resistance and very high capacitance. I'm measuring at 7.8 kilohertz, which is um, a high frequency switch in which you normally get in these uh, speeders. Speeders normally work either at 4 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, 16 kilohertz. Sometimes they go higher. So I've measured at 7, 8. So it's a good capacitor, but these capacitors can actually um, uh, be damaged very easily. They're only rated about um, 10 volts, and uh, I've seen plenty of them fail. Um, will it give you any power boost in a 1S car that people tend to put them in? Personally, I don't think so. I don't think it made any difference at all. What makes a difference, I've already said, is um, good wiring, short wiring, also good keep your plugs tight in the sockets, don't let them squeeze up and become loose, um, and keep either the capacitor that came with with the speedo, keep it on. Don't don't some people uh, break their capacitors off and then don't run them anymore. It will cause the speedo a lot of stress and it can make it heat up. And heat, heat is what you don't want. If anything gets hot, if you feel a wire and it's hot, it's not good enough. If you feel a plug when you take it out and it's heated up, it needs to be replaced. Uh, this was very common in, in the past with Tamiya connectors, uh, those white ones. Um, <laughs> they used to get red hot. <laughs> in some people's cars, they literally melt. Um, so in conclusion, is it worth changing to a better capacitor? Um, in my opinion, no. You do need a capacitor. Normally the one that comes with the Speedo is good enough. But if you're going to replace it, because you still think it's uh, worth the effort, they do vary. Uh, KO one's good. Uh, this one's good, but um, it's big as well. Uh, but I recommend buy a very good quality battery. The higher the C rating, the better. And um, if you want, want more running time, which is not normally a problem, uh, you, you're not going to get it from a capacitor like this, the Hyper Booster. So, I don't know if that's been any help to you. It does conflict with a lot of people online who make videos saying have massive capacitors for more power. I, it makes no sense at all to me. Uh, does it increase the brakes? Well, uh, brakes get weaker as the speedo gets hotter because electronics, the hotter they get, the more resistance they have and it can't switch so much current when the, when the FETs get hot. So if you can keep your speedo cold, you'll get more power. If you want more brakes towards the end of the race, when you think you're losing power, if you feel your speed control and it's got really hot, put a fan on it or a better fan or um, make sure the capacitor is still connected. If you think the capacitor stopped working, they don't normally stop working, by the way. Only if you reverse connect them and blow them up or you break the wire off. Um, fit in a bigger capacitor, in my opinion, will not give you any more performance. Um, okay, that's about all I can say on that.